Hello, my legends, Tio here. This is the third time I try to do this commentary because I keep going through it after I've done it and realize that I'm like, I take these breaks in the way I'm talking, uh, kind of like this. And, uh, and, and it's really, I'm getting kind of annoyed watching it and listening to it, and I'm having to cut away all these breaks, and it ends up sounding kind of unnatural, so I'm gonna try one more time without taking these breaks. The reason I'm taking these breaks is that I'm, I'm quite tired today. In a better world, you would have been watching a Rainbow Six Siege Funny Moments video tonight, right now, instead of this commentary. But you're not, because I'm tired. <laughs> I've been working on this video the last few days. When I play games and I'm recording, if something funny happens, I stop recording and I start recording. And that means that every time a, uh, there's a clip or something worth saving for a video, uh, that's at the end of each recording. And if nothing funny happens for a while, then I stop recording, tab out quickly, delete it, tab in, and start recording. And I've been playing a lot of Siege lately, the last two weeks, so I've got about seven hours of recordings. And that's not seven hours of funny stuff, that's seven hours of raw recordings, and you have to find the funny stuff in it. And I've been, that's what I've been going through the last few days, and today I was going to finish going through that, I had about a quarter left of it, and then I was going to make the video. And I, I was really tired all day, so I had a power nap, and that didn't help. I sat down and I started going through the clips to finish that, labeling them all, and then I was going to make the video. And I realized that I would have time, but it would have been stressed and rushed, and I wouldn't have been, it wouldn't have been as good as I would want it to be. And therefore I'm going to delay it two days, and instead I'm making this commentary, and this isn't just some random commentary that I'm half-assing just to get something out and get my views, like, I can imagine a lot of people would think that. Um, I've been wanting to make this commentary for the last couple of weeks, especially, and I figured tonight's the night to do that because I'm too tired to spend hours editing a video. Instead, I'll make this. One of the things I've always liked about my channel, and it's something that I, I've always wanted to keep doing since day one of my channel, or, okay, since I had viewers, is have a good relationship with my viewers. When I was starting off, I used to send messages. I remembered sending a message to C Nanners back when he did COD commentaries in like 2010, 9 maybe, something like that, uh, asking for advice. I used to have trouble. Like I sent Zergriz a message, another big COD montage maker, because I had trouble finding ways to record. Uh, and that's one of the reasons I told myself from the beginning that if I ever start growing, then I want to be responsive with my viewers. I want to answer them. Obviously, if someone asks for advice, I get a lot of questions like, what do you use to edit and stuff like that? And I, I make sure I answer that, but also just to have a good relationship with my viewers. Because back then, I got a reply from C Nanners, because I sent him one of my fun tages. I think it was Nerds Gone Wild 2, uh, for Modern Warfare 2. It's like, just a funny moments video. It was a series I did back then that got my channel to grow from the first place. To grow, sorry. Uh, and he replied, and he said, oh, this is really funny. And that made me instantly think, Oh, okay, cool. He took the time to read my messages. He found mine. Not only did he watch it, like, even if he didn't like it, like, he replied. And that made me happy. Um, so I've always wanted to have a good relationship with my viewers, be connected, and be honest. I think that's very important. Um, so you don't lose touch. The last half year or so, my channel's grown quite a huge amount, uh, mainly due to my Rainbow Six Siege videos. What I wanted to talk about is, when I when I upload a video that isn't Rainbow Six Siege, uh, the top comment a lot of the times is, uh, where's Siege? Uh, we want more Siege, uh, or any <laughs> any formulation of that. And it's really nice to see people who are, who like my Siege videos that much, that they, that they, 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 that they want more. However, it is disheartening to me um, when I put a lot of time and effort into a video of a game that isn't Siege. And then to read people who are just asking, no, we want Siege. And uh, it, I think it is a small, very vocal amount, but it's a small amount of people. And I think those, uh, to be honest, I think those comments are always going to come. I think they're always going to be there. Um, asking for games, that's a very classic thing on YouTube. And I don't, I'm not making this video to complain about that. Um, I'm making this because I want a message out there with something where I've said this. Um, my channel uh, is never going to be about one game. That's what I'm making this video for. My my channel is never going to be about one game. Uh, this is not a this is not a siege channel. I make a lot of siege videos right now, but it is not a Rainbow Six Siege channel. I'm not done with siege either, as you heard me mention earlier. I've been playing it a lot, 
but I thought it was time because I am seeing a lot of these comments and I just want this out there. It's not a siege channel. I think the the biggest mistake one can do with a channel these days is, uh, personally, this is what I feel, um, is to have it be a one game channel. Uh, as soon as that game's community dies, a lot of a lot of your viewers are going to disappear. I started off with Modern Warfare 2, and when I stopped playing Modern Warfare 2, I had a game here and there making videos of, but it was mainly Modern Warfare 2. When I stopped, I made a video saying I'm done with, Mon with COD, I'm going to move on to other games, and I lost a lot of people watching. And a lot of people stuck around because they enjoyed my videos. What my channel's always been about is playing, I play games with my friends, and I enjoy those games, and I make videos of them. And I will never play a game just to make a video of it, even if I don't enjoy it, because that video is not going to be entertaining then. I th personally, I think my videos are entertaining because uh, we enjoy the game so much, and it's just natural fun with friends. Yeah, there's no, there's no faking anything. Uh, we're, we're just, we're just enjoying it, and we're having fun. And I think that it's a dangerous, a dangerous. <laughs> it's, I think it's, it's, it's. It, it may, it would be very hard. Uh, to make videos entertaining if I kept playing Siege just to make the videos of Siege just to get the views because I think I feel like that's a very short-sighted way to look at it uh, I think in the terms of long term um, it's not it's not good um, videos won't be good and I won't enjoy it either throughout the years I've obviously played a lot of games some games I've played a lot more um, there have been you know big series as I said, I starting with Modern Warfare 2, there was Trouble in Terrorist Town, Left 4 Dead, Minecraft, Trials, Battlefield 3, and most recently CSGO. Those are some of the games that I really focused on during the time that they, uh, that I enjoyed them. And um, and when I stopped playing them, then or when I put a st uh, of other stuff, then people would always ask this. And that's why I'm saying, like, I don't think these comments are ever going to go away. That's that's YouTube. Like, that's the essence of YouTube, people asking for stuff. But, but with all of these games, it was always the same thing, that... You put up something else and people would ask for that game because they really enjoy it. Um, and for this one, because Siege has grown so... Because my channel has grown so much because of Siege, I think there's a pretty big group of my viewers who wa who are j here just for Siege. And it's for them that I make. I felt I needed to make a video and just get that message out there. And that's pretty much what I wanted to get to today. As always, I mentioned a movie I watched recently. Uh, I saw John Wick pretty soon after it came out, and I watched it again yesterday to show Alex. And if you haven't seen that movie, oof, watch it. It's a good, good, uh, good action movie uh, with uh, Keanu Reeves. I really like Keanu Reeves when he's in a role that, that that's suitable for him. Um, seen a lot of videos on YouTube of him training for this role, and uh, ah, it's good. It's about... Uh, uh, don't watch it if you don't like animals dying. <laughs> Alex said don't watch it if you don't like animals dying. Um, uh, yeah, the beginning's a bit sad. Um, it's no spoiler or anything, because uh, this is what the movie's about. It happens in the first five minutes. Um, but but he loses a pet uh, that's very close to him, and he goes for revenge, basically. Uh, it's a really good movie. This is what I'd recommend for this commentary. If I'm sure most of you guys have seen it, because it's a very... Um, I think for my audience, I think it's probably one of those movies that you'll have seen. But if you haven't, then you're missing out. Uh, that's about it. I'll see you guys on the, in the next video. That Funny Moments is going to come out in a very soon. A couple of days, probably. So, uh, hope you're looking forward to that. And, uh, yeah. Bye-bye.